Now rosacea is a chronic condition, which means there is no cure, so treatment is aimed at relieving the symptoms. So in terms of treatments, we do have a whole variety of what we call topical treatments, such as brimodin gel, metronidazole gel, which is something that I'm familiar with. So for example, if you presented to me with erythema, which is redness of the face, as well as the post-field spots, I'll be giving you metronidazole 0.75% gel to apply twice a day. Other treatments include topical ivermectin, as well as azelaic acid, 0.15% gel, which is also used for acne vulgaris, but can also be used for rosacea. These gels are quite effective for mild symptoms, where you have your post-field spots, and redness of the skin as well as your dilatation of your blood vessels but you'd have to use treatment for maybe between 8 to 12 weeks before you can see a resolution of your symptoms. If your symptoms are quite bad we would sometimes add an alternative treatment such as the antibiotic which is taken orally such as your erythromycin, clarithromycin and your class of tetracycline such as your doxycycline or oxytetracycline. And this treatment, similar to your topical treatments, can be used for another 8 to 12 weeks. And you might find that in total, you're actually using this treatment for up to 16 weeks. But it's quite important that you have a review with your doctor at each stage just to make sure that the treatment's working. If treatment's not working, then your doctor would usually refer you to a dermatologist for further treatment. So doctor, what can I do to help myself? In terms of self-help techniques, as I mentioned previously, sun exposure is one of the risk factors. So you might want to protect your skin by using a sun protection factor of at least 30 on your face every day. Try and avoid using soaps or perfumed products to wash your face. As we mentioned, extremes of heat or cold can worsen rosacea, so you want to avoid heat or sunlight as much as possible, avoid cold weather, you know, try and reduce your intake of alcohol, avoid hot drinks whenever you can. And importantly, avoid stress. Stress is known to trigger rosacea. One thing I forgot to mention, which is quite important in rosacea, is it can actually cause enlargement of the nose, where you get this thickening and inflammation of the nose, known as rhinophyma. This can be usually be treated with a course of doxycycline, which can be taken for up to 16 weeks. If that doesn't help, there is the option of laser treatment or even minor surgery. Now I hope you find this short talk on rosacea quite useful and please feel free to subscribe to my channel.